What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here to talk about my AKW guild, Perception. Now, a couple of months ago, I did a round of recruitment for the guild, and I basically recruited a whole bunch of you guys into the guild, and I just see, see, sort of saw what happened. Now, unfortunately, at the time, I was going through some stuff in real life, obviously I went to Hawaii and all that sort of thing, um, and so I wasn't able to be very active in my own guild, so that obviously led to a lot of people not being active as well, and so essentially I had a guild full of 49 inactive players, and I had one, one active player, Milu, um, who pretty much the, the driving force. Even, even he couldn't continue, uh, obviously, supporting a guild that was just completely inactive and dead. So, um, to, to try and rectify that issue, I guess I'm now going to be uh, doing, I guess, round two of that and, uh, I guess, Perception 2.0. So I learned a lot about, about how to run a guild, first of all, from that first round. Um, and so I'll quickly talk to you guys about some problems that I encountered and how I'm going to fix them. So... One, one major problem I noticed was obviously inactivity, and that could be, uh, could be driven down to a, a couple of reasons. Um, one, I allowed any time zone to join. Now, that's not to say I'm not going to allow any time zone to join, it's just I need to be more proactive about kicking those who are inactive. And unfortunately, my definition of inactive is going to be uh, anyone who's not online when I am. So, that's really harsh, I know, I realize that, but... I don't want a guild full of players that are active, but are just active at different times. You can't have a guild full of players that, you know, you got some people from, you know, South Africa that are active, and then some people from, you know, Japan that are active, and North uh, North America that are active, and Australia that are uh, that are active. You know, you could have people all over the world that are active, but because of time zone differentiation, um, you're really not going to have an active guild. I'm driving to have an active guild, and the time zone of choice is going to be whenever I'm online, which is 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. New Zealand time on weekdays, and then pretty much whenever in, in the weekends. My sleep schedule is always fucked up on the weekends. So, um, But yeah, I'm, I'm mainly looking to people who can be online at 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, weekdays, which you could, you know, you could be living in North Korea for all I care, and as long as you can get on in that time and be active, then that's a thumbs up from me, and you'll probably stay in the guild. Um, also, the, the, the guild server is going to be Artix, by the way. Um, I know some players were still playing on Artix, even though I said the guild uh, server was Yurumi, and I, I realized that that's my, that's my fault. You know, I should have said it was Artix from the beginning. I, I should should just should just pick the most popular server that the most players are likely to be on already. So yeah, um, when the server rewrite comes out, there might be a bigger server um, capacity, I guess, or I don't know, there might be better guild features and stuff, so hopefully that'll be uh, cool to have with the with the guild. But back to inactivity, uh, I'm going to be kicking players once per week, um, like all the inactive players once per week, or pretty much just whenever I see them and notice them being inactive. Now, that's not to say I'm going to just kick you straight away if you're offline, but, I mean, you got, you got to try and at least be online. Now, I know this is a big commitment to ask, you know, to be online pretty much whenever I am, but, hey, I'm going to at least get some people like that, and if I can get some people like that, then I'm probably going to be happy with, you know, a lot of others, others not being online at whenever time. Pretty much, it's kind of arbitrary, and it's not really particularly defined in any specific way, just sort of try and be online when I am, and if you're not, then you'll get kicked, but hey, I'm probably just going to let everyone else back in anyway, and just cycle through everyone over and over again until I find a group of players that are active, and are friendly, and are, are good people, and all that sort of thing. So, how to join? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick everyone, pretty much, from the guild. So, if you're in the guild currently, and you get kicked, then don't worry, it's easy to join back. You'll probably be easily able to join back. First of all, there are two ways to do it. One, by messaging me on Discord, very, very easy to do. Go to the link in the description down below. My Discord server is always linked in the description of my videos and join my server. Now, I've got my Discord configured so that anyone who's in my server can private message me. So once you're in my Discord, once you've logged into Discord or, or, or you know, created an account or whatever, you go to my Discord server, find me on the sidebar. I leave my computer running pretty much 24 seven. So my, my name will always be there. Click on my name, click message, and type a message to me saying, you know, um, Hi, I'd like to join your your guild in AKW. My AKW username is, and then your AKW username. Just send something like that. Just basically include your AKW username and, and ask to join my guild, and I'll be able to message you back. I don't get many messages on Discord at all, so I'll be able to answer them all pretty much. Or you can tweet me. Tweeting me is probably better I guess because my, I get notifications on my phone from, for Twitter and I get uh, I'm, I'm on Twitter probably more than I am Discord during the day but I'm always on Discord at least once per day 
um, and I'm always on Twitter at least once per day. So I will be able to get back to you and I will be able to message you if you want to join the guild. So again, Twitter or Discord, say what your AKW username is and just say, hi, I'd like to join your guild or something like that. Just, it's, it's very simple and I'll be able to answer back everyone and be able to get in contact with you and talk to you about how to get into my guild and say, you know, meet me at Yolgar at whatever time or go to my house and I'll invite you or whatever. Just... Just keep in contact with me and we'll be able to sort all that all that out. And uh, like I said, if you have a time zone that's literally opposite to me and we can't meet up, like there's no way for us to meet up, then that's probably a good sign that you're not going to be able to be active in the, in the guild anyway. But uh, hey, it's worth a shot at least. So just send me a message and you'll be, you'll be set to go. Um, now as for, uh, like, like I said, being active, just, just try and get on in the server and, uh, in the, in the guild rather and just chat with people. Uh, my guild hub is going to be at slash house etho. However, it's not like a big deal. You know, sitting there 24 seven, you just do, you do your own thing and just talk in the guild chat from wherever you are, but just stay on Artix and, uh, and you'll be sweet. I'm, like I said, I'm going to get a list of people who are active or inactive or whatever and uh, mark all those people down. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're active for a long time and you seem like a friendly person and you seem trustworthy and, you know, you've got some experience behind you and all that sort of thing, then I'll probably make you officer. Um, so, yeah, other than that, though, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you've got any suggestions for anything I should do or, or shouldn't do with the guild or just how to run the guild, like I said, I'm a, I'm a novice as to as to, jo- um, to running a guild, so uh, any suggestions or tips are, is much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.